The Sydney Cormorant Project has its evolution um, in our Faculty of Humanities um, partnering up with um, some of our science and engineering team. Um, it's a historical story about um, a ship that was sunk um, in the Second World War uh, and has uh, a lot of uh, cultural significance. In 2011, a colleague and I, Andrew Hutchison and myself, dreamed up a uh, desire to return to the two wrecks of the HMAS Sydney and the German vessel, the Cormoran, to survey the two wrecks and um, um, image them and display them in a way that had, had you know, never at that stage been done before. We conducted a very detailed 3D imaging survey of the two wrecks. We've now come back with 50 terabytes of data, over half a million photographs and over 300 hours of high definition um, footage, much of that in 3D. Um, the volume and, and the size of the data sets that have been uh, captured through the Sydney Cormorant project um, is enormous and uh, what that means is if we want to do something sensible with those huge volumes of data we actually need really um, impressive tools or really um, fast uh, supercomputing capabilities. Um, if we were to actually try and uh, use existing uh, techniques and existing uh, resources it would take us hundreds of years to actually do some of the digital reconstructions we want to do for the WA Museum and uh, by having a supercomputer we can run uh, these types of reconstructions in parallel uh, and do them in far shorter time frames. Pawsey Supercomputing Centre has some of the finest compute and storage capabilities in the Southern Hemisphere and certainly in Australia and we also have great skills and expertise that we can bring to bear on these particular problems. Uh, so this is a particular problem that is of great societal benefit and that's in addition to the excellent science that we're able to support across a range of domains from looking at the furthest reaches of the galaxies and of the universe through to actually solving the world's food problems. But in this project they've taken hundreds of thousands of images from different angles in three dimensions over square kilometres. To piece all this together requires huge amounts of compute power. On a typical PC, it might take tens of thousands of years. The computers we have here bring that down into manageable amounts of time and manageable amounts of compute power. And using the power of Magnus, this most powerful machine, a research computer in the Southern Hemisphere, this will now make this possible and we will be able to deliver to the Australian public an experience that they can actually use. One of the key technologies that we're applying to the, uh, the Sydney Cormoran project is 3D reconstruction. That involves taking a series of 2D photographs of a object and the tools and techniques of 3D reconstruction allow us to generate 3D models of the object that we've filmed. So the 3D reconstruction process involves comparing all of these photos to every other photo. This creates a list of matching points between photographs, which the computer can then turn into a 3D point cloud. So each of these points is essentially a small point in 3D space, which the computer can then use to work out where all of the photos are taken from. And it's a very sparse model, so it's not suitable for visualization. But once it knows where the photographs are, it can create a much denser point cloud and then put a mesh over these points. So this is essentially a wireframe mesh made up of polygons. So it's still not suitable for visualization, but we can then project the photographs onto this mesh to create a textured model. So what we've got here is a 3D reconstruction of the HACS or high angle control system from the HMAS Sydney. So this was used to work out firing coordinates for the anti-aircraft guns on the Sydney. So this technology is able to provide people with immersive experiences of places they simply could never go to. In this case we're talking about ships that are two and a half kilometres under the ocean, war graves, and be able to take people into a 3D immersive environment to actually experience what it is like down there.